Want to listen for this? I have Dr. Dina Rose here, as uh, Brittany was saying, author of It's Not About the Broccoli. Getting kids to eat healthy every single night, parents struggle with that, and it's very stressful. So can you talk to us about what that will lead to down the line, like when they're kids, what that's going to, you know, what's going to happen? You know, it is so stressful to be a parent and try to get the healthy food into kids. And the big mistake that parents make is putting too much pressure on kids to eat their veggies because that pressure makes kids put up a big wall. And that's one of the reasons that they say, I don't like it before they've even tasted it. Interesting. So change your conversation around that. Yes, absolutely. We have to actually start seeing the world through our kids' eyes and remember that we have to make the vegetables taste good. We have to teach them the right habits. We can't feed them one way and expect them to eat another way. You know, we can't feed them all their favorite foods all the time because that's what gets the food into them and then expect them to be adventurous eaters. We need to start, you know, trying to understand what drives children's behavior. So that's interesting because getting them to eat different things, that's almost like maybe something that you don't prefer sort of introduce them to different foods and not put our food feelings onto them. Oh, definitely don't do a, oh, you're not going to like that, or, oh, I hate this, right? We definitely right. stay away from that. But there are some other concrete things that we can do. Okay, so let's talk about the solutions. Yes. So first of all, we all know that we want our kids to eat the vegetables. They like the chips. <laughs> yes. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Right? <laughs> right. They're great. But what we have to remember is that we often say to, parent, uh, to our kids, hey, it's a tomato. It's good. Mmm, want to try it? And that gives them no information. Imagine I said that to you about this. These are edible <laughs> worms. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. they're good. You want to try it? I knew they were interesting. I didn't know exactly what they were. You want me to try it? If you want oh. to. I've never tried Are you feeling like a little this? nervous? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, right? Actually, oh my God. <laughs> Shockingly, it tastes like a chip or something. Right. It tastes like a corn chip or. Absolutely. Oh my God, it's an yeah. edible worm I just ate. But <laughs> I can see the fear in your eyes. <laughs> we think it's a tomato. They're thinking about it like a worm. And what did you do? You didn't tell me, but I can tell in your mind. You started to look at it. You assessed it. You might have smelled it as it was going in your mouth. You took a little, you know, you, you, you approached it with an investigator's mind. And we need to teach kids how to do that. We can't just say, mmm, it's good. Right. And things are so disguised now. I mean, and, and we'll talk about that a little bit more about, you know, you don't want to lie to your kids as, as well. You want to be honest with them. Right. So, and you mentioned these three habits um, that parents could actually start doing now. Yes. From the get-go, the okay. habits that translate. <laughs> Get it Sorry, out of your teeth, right? Sorry, it's just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the three habits that translate everything you need to know about nutrition into behavior are proportion, eat the healthiest foods the most frequently, so there is room in the diet for the chips. Right, and, and the, the ice worms. Cream and, the, <laughs> and the worms. <laughs> proportion. Variety means eating different foods from day to day, and parents often get hung up because they say, my child won't eat new foods, but it just means different. So rotate, do what I call the rotation rule, just serve different things from meal to meal and day to day. And the third habit is moderation. That essentially is about portion size, eating when you're hungry, stopping when you're full, and not eating because you're bored, you're sad, or you're lonely. Well, thank you, Dr. Rose. Quite interesting for indeed. So a nine-year-old is giving Twitter a laugh, and one fan of the rapper Logic is preparing for a trip of a lifetime. We'll have those stories and more in the speed feed. Thanks so much.